COVID protocols. Well, there we can see it is one all in the overall tie. This is a Group D tie. And next up is the second ranked men's doubles because Jason Anthony Hoshu is playing two matches. So he will play fifth match at the first men's doubles. And uh, this is a brand new pair, as you can see, for Japan. No wins, no losses for Takoro Hoki and Taichi Saito up against Philippe Sharon and Maxime Teuro. So, as far as the Canadian pair are concerned, some wins and seven losses. Not a lot of experience in international badminton. Now, Japan uh, deciding to break up their top two pairs. Mix and match today, as far as Japan is concerned, in the Thomas Cup. So their opponents from Canada, Philippe Chelron and Maxime Teuro. Well, I'll be very interested to see how the Japanese players team up together. And it's because uh, the Japanese pair are playing together for the first time. Of course, as pairs, these two can never have played each other before. So, Japan has won the toss of the coin and they've chosen to serve. But the Canadians, both in their 30s, but not a lot of experience in international badminton. Whereas, as far as this man is concerned, Takora Hoki, 26 years of age, born in Yamaguchi. And he and his regular partner, Yugo Kobayashi, reached the final of the last World Championship. Silver medalists lost out to Mohamed Hassan and Hendra Setiawan in the final in Basel of those World Championships. His partner for today, Taichi Saito, is... 28 years of age and not the tallest of athletes. He usually plays with Koga, who will be playing the fifth match today with Yuta Watanabe. And with his regular partner, he's enjoying his highest ranking at the moment. So here is Maxime Teuro, and he's 32 years of age. Oh, I do beg your pardon, we're actually on. Philippe Chalron, at the moment we should say a belated happy birthday to him because he turned 32 eight days ago. His partner, the taller of the two men, is Maxime Thiro. I'm not sure we've got that round the right way, to be honest. Yeah. I thought we'd made a bit of a mistake there. This is Tiro, 31 years of age. And he and his partner have been as high as 186 in the world. That was for one week from the 2nd of July, 2018. Current Ready ranking, as you can see, 1,631. Yeah, uh, I'm par for this one. Christian Johannesson from Denmark. And our service judge from Belgium. 
So just to recap with the pair from Canada, the taller of the two athletes is Philippe Charon. Maxime Pirot. I can tell you, he's only played a total of eight international individual tournaments outside of Canada in his entire career, and he's 31 years of age. So this a huge Ladies occasion for the Canadians. On my right, Canada, represented by Philippe Charon and Maxime Cetro. Well, the umpire having to pause while the Japan, public address was on. Represented by Taichi Saito and Takuro Hoki. Japan to serve. Takuro Hoki to Philip Charon. Bravo. Play. So the traditional little bow from Japanese players to all forms of four corners of the court before their matches get underway. Sign of respect. That was very nice. where we had the 2012 World Junior Championships. Yeah, good shot from Hoki. above their opponents. Tan Kim Her, former Malaysian player, now coaching in Japan. Mm, Mike Butler looking a little bit worried. So he might. Sarah from Saito. 
Oh, service for call too high. Called on Philippe Chalron. And that for service fault means that it gives the advantage, a nine point advantage at the mid game interval to this new Japanese pair. Yeah, not a lot of advice needed from the tag team there. Three minutes into the match. Well, I can tell you that the taller of the two Canadians, there he is, just coming back on the court, Philippe Chalron, actually won a silver medal in the mixed doubles at the Pan Am Championships of 2012 when the event was staged in Peru. On the silver medal with Phyllis Shan. Lost down to Derek Elm and Alex Bruce, also of Canada, in the final. No medalist at Pan Am Championships, but that nine years ago. Oh, that's a lovely shot. Nicely done. From the tall man. Well, I don't know what the coaching was from Mike Butler, but whatever he said, it certainly worked. Good serve from Pedro. been deflected and that meant it was mistimed that one because it was far too loose from Charon oh it's just long Good work at the back of the court by Tayro. suspecting the lights. Maxime. Oh, just long. Yeah, that's the second time. Yeah. Good rotational play by the Japanese pair. Good to see. Nine, 
So game point opportunities for the Japanese pair. Good drive defence from Saito. And indeed wins the entire rally. And is good play, especially at the front of the court. 21-9 confirms the umpire opening game to Japan and the scratch pairing of Takuro Hoki and Taichi Saito. It's 10 minutes for the opening game. the game point opportunity the drive defense from Saito and immediately move forward and then look at his racket up ready to intercept the next one and because it came back he's ready once more classic doubles play from Saito Seconds. Four, one, 20 seconds. So the umpire's call of 20 seconds, a clear indication that the players should get ready. Just wide. Ah, that's a pity. Oh, it's so fast at the front of the court, Hokey. as a World Championship silver medal. to vary the pace. Drop shots mixed up with angled smashes and power smashes. Oh. 
seven, stop. those smashes from the Canadians and the defence of the Japanese pair, well it's renowned globally for being so rock solid and they're just not making any indentation at the moment the Canadians against the defensive play of their opponents a third time and a second time that has been on a score of 10 for their opponents which means that like the opening game they don't want a game in full with a nine points advantage I missed the first bit of that conversation about the tactics because I wasn't quite sure what was, or I wasn't following what was being said there. Just wide. Pressure on the return of serve, bring his partner into trouble. Five defence. And it's not just getting it back, the Japanese players get back to the, the 
opponent's attacking shot with interest. Two points away from the match now. From Fuki and Saito. Match point opportunities. A golf in class, to be honest, in this matchup. to the scoreline in favour of Japan with a scratch pairing of Hoki and Saito. Just about 20 minutes for the victory. 21-9, Just under the 20 minute mark. 21-9, 21-2 the scoreline and that puts Japan 2-1 up in the tie. against Canada. This is the match point opportunity. Too much attacking play from the Japanese for the Canadians to cope with. That's the final point in the match to Hoki and Saito. So after that men's doubles, we turn our attention now to the third ranked men's singles and Narayoka against Sankos of Canada.
Welcome back to the Ceres Arena. Beautiful setting is the football stadium. There's a, a track for horses just in the background, track racing. I think they call it. And there's a beautiful arena where we are based. So with Japan leading 2-1 in the group D tie against Canada, we turn our attention 